So basically, all hazards are in play here. A multi-hazard event, um, you know, you really have to be thinking about significant widespread power outages for days uh, where this, the Milton crosses the Florida Peninsula. Um, significant down trees, significant power outages, maybe the inability to move around for several days. The Milton has uh, undergone a, a rapid intensification period uh, all day today and is unfortunately now a category five hurricane on the Saffir Simpson scale. So let's look at the current statistics. Um, maximum wind speeds of 180 miles per hour pressure down to 905 millibars, uh, movement to the east at, at 10. And you know, the, the question everybody wants to know is, is where will Milton go and what sort of impacts it will bring. Generally going to move, continue moving to the east overnight tonight and then gradually turn towards the northeast.